Welcome to the Network Engineering Video Blog. I am your host, Michael Crane. This is going to be a quick video. I wanted to show you how to reset the password in this Cisco 3750 Ethernet switch I got off of eBay the other day. So let's get started. So what you're going to need for the console of this is one of these DB9 connectors. Uh, it's actually DB9 to RJ45. It's, it's this specific to Cisco. This one's got the actual logo on it. Um, you can tell by the baby blue. And the next thing you need is, is uh, most PCs or laptops or PCs for that matter nowadays don't come with uh, DB9 serial ports. So you'll need a, a DB9 to USB converter. Uh, this one is made by SIG. So first things first, <clears throat> first we want to uh, plug the console cable that we have. And, and by the way, if you don't have one of these console cables, you can just Google Cisco console cable and, and you can buy them all, online all day for like $6. Uh, I think that's even with free shipping. So anyway, plug in console cable into the console port and plug the DB9 into the DB9 adapter. And uh, and then you know plug the IEC uh, power connector in, and then let's just plug her in. Okay, so once you have layer one squared away, you need to uh, get a console terminal or terminal session opened up to the console. And uh, Windows used to have a program called Hyper Terminal, but I think in Windows seven and above they don't include that program anymore so you have to find an alternative and and I usually use putty and and I'll put the link in for where to download putty uh, we need to find out what uh, the com port is because we, we want to use a serial port so you click on serial here in the putty configuration and this is what fires up when you originally pull up putty You'll see it's asking for the com line. Well, I don't really know what that is right now. So what you have to do is you have to go to um, the device manager and and find out what the what uh, com port that uh, USB to um, DB9 is using. And and as you can see, we're using com three. It's under ports here. So we want to plug that into into our putty configuration here, and the speed needs to be 9600. I think putty defaults to that, and there it is, serial. <laughs> so yeah, so the this COM3, the baud rate is 9600, eight data bits, one stop bit, no parity, and flow control is X on X off. I don't think that matters at this speed. But um, anyway, and if you want to save, you can just type in the name right here, serial port three or something, and save it. I'm I'm not going to save it. So um, so you just fire that up, and and voila. Okay, so according to the Cisco user's guide, we are going to uh, unplug the power from the 3750, and. We're going to let it sit for 10 seconds, kind of let all the caps drain down. And then, uh, then we're going to plug it back in and wait until the system LED is flashing green, which I believe is that SysT guy up there, and then press the mode button. And uh, it says, uh, while still flashing, continue pressing mode button until the system LED turns briefly amber. Yep, it, it worked. So there we go. Okay, so for the default mode um, for a Cisco 3750 is to have the uh, password recovery mechanism enabled, as you can see right here. Uh, so if you don't see the screen and it says it's disabled right here, don't get concerned. Just just follow the prompts. It's going to ask you to uh, reset the the configuration back to to default. And, and that's okay. It's a new switch. If um, if you're trying to recover an actual password, I guess that could be a bad thing. But okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, do flash init. 
Okay, so next we're going to load the helper. Yeah, that was uneventful. And now we're just going to do a dir flash. And uh, make sure you put that semicolon in there because uh, that, is, that is important. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to rename the, the config file. So we're going to, this uh, config, this guy right here is our config file. So we're just going to say uh, uh, rename flash, which is the device we're on, config.txt, and that's the, that's the source file name, and uh, and flash it's on and we're going to rename it to we're going to put it back on the flash and we're going to call it uh, config.txt.2 <laughs> okay and if we do another dir oops now see i forgot already dir flash and there it is great so now we should just be able to boot up and it should go into uh, initial configuration. So let's give it a shot. You type in boot. And if you noticed, uh, they were kind enough to put the advanced IP services in here for us. So that was a win. Okay, so um, so here's a fork in the road. So would you like to enter an, an initial configuration dialog, uh, yes or no? And and so if you hit yes, then it's going to reinitialize that config file, which is what you want to do really if if uh, you, this is an eBay switch and you don't want a bunch of old junky config in there. But if you're trying to uh, do a password recovery, I'll just show you that real quick because initial config you just type in yes and move on if you're recovering the password then you want to type in no here and then uh, do an enable and then now you want to go back and and rename so if you do a dir flash again so now what you want to do is rename um, your uh, config the one that we saved off here so we're going to type in rename our, our config that we didn't couldn't remember the password of. Oops. Uh, you need need to put flash in here. Flash. And we're going to rename it to uh, flash dot oop, colon config dot text. And yes. And the R flash. Let's make sure. I think that Y might have been a bad. Yep, that was a bad. <laughs> yeah, don't. That's that's not a question. It's asking if you want the file name. So okay, so let's try that again. I'm gonna hit the up arrow. Except this time, I'm gonna, it's not gonna be this. It's gonna be Y since we renamed, renamed it to Y. And this time, I'm gonna hit Enter. Okay. So dir flash, and there you go. Okay, so it is config.txt now. Okay, so now that we've done that, we want to copy this file to the running config. So you're going to say uh, copy flash um, config.txt to the system uh, running dash config okay and what that's going to do is that's going to basically it's going to do a it's going to reload that config.txt file into the running config file and 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 uh, so now it's um it's it's generating a key and this is just it's just actually going through the file if if you're if you're if you're recovering this and you got a big configuration, you'll see a lot of stuff popping out at this point. Okay, so now it's just uh, so you can see you're in enabled mode already with the pound sign right there. So now it's just a matter of 
of changing the password so you can say uh, enable oops you know config oops and fig t and then enable secret uh, Cisco right uh, oh yeah so do a control C and then a right I'll do that again so it's a control C and then you do a right that's just a that starts stands for right to mem it's just short for right mem and copy so this, oh, copy running config I believe this is in memory. I uh, don't hold me to that. To startup config. That's about it. So now you should be able to uh, to reload your switch and and be able to log in uh, with the password that you set. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you have any questions. For comments, leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll try to answer them. Thanks and uh, we'll see you next time.